guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, and if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm Tiffany and today I'm going to do a flip through of my personal ring um, planner for the month of May. And please excuse my voice. I just got over a cold, but my voice decided it was going to go away. So this is going to be a really quick flip. Just so hopefully I say that. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm currently in my VDS Elysian. Um, I bought this um, pretty loved. I love this planner. It is absolutely stunning. Um, so I'm, I'm going to quickly just go through these pockets. Um, this focus card is from Paper Planner Bliss. This is from Pen Paper and Plans. I have an Aloe's Creative Corner card here. Another Paper Planner Bliss card. That's from Paper Planner Bliss. And then here I have these cute tags that came in the anniversary box from Pen Paper and Plans along with this I Am card that I just thought looked cute here. I have my mood stickers from Via Creations tucked in here. And then I have this card. This is from the planner spot with some sticky notes on it. Um, yeah. So let's see. Die cut and card is from the planner spot. I've got like this pretty vellum from Pen Paper and Plans and Picture of Hubby and I with the Ollie, Ollie Clip. Um, Cat Espresso dashboard. That's Paper Tessa's uh, monthly freebie. And then my inbox. So I just printed this freebie from EO Edits on vellum and it's got this little tab. So my section covers and then these little covers here are from Hey Planner Girl. So I decided not to use dividers again this month. So my inbox section is just kind of a place where I can like brain dump tasks that need to get done. So I use this insert from Latua Notes. And then I also have this task board from Latua Notes to just kind of break down my um, my tasks into categories. So I have several of those printed and I did print these on like thinner paper just so it wouldn't bulk up my planner. So then I have this um, memo insert from Latua Notes with a bunch of sticky notes from Latua Notes on here. My online order tracker, boxes of insert if I need it. This vellum is from Pen Paper and Plans. And then I just have my Cat Espresso Jelly Dash with like some stickers and die cuts and whatnot. That's my freebie from Pen Paper and Plans. Here is my quick table of contents. And then moving into my list section. A lot of this hasn't changed. This dashboard is from Pen Paper and Plants. It's absolutely beautiful. So my list section is where I keep long-term lists of things that I will reference regularly. Um, so these are my affirmations. And then I have this uh, brain dump trigger list. This has been circulating uh, Instagram from Brown's Plans. Planner wish list, just random wish list, TV shows, podcasts. I haven't filled out my books to read section yet. And favorite dinners, which help with meal planning, Trader Joe favorites. These are some things I want to buy for the house and things I need to declutter. This, um, which this will be obsolete very soon because um, summer break is beginning. But this is like weekday evening routine, day trip ideas, and then just random like uh, extra list pages. And then this, uh, moving into my notes section here, I've got this cute picture of my girls. And then this is the uh, weekly manager from Latua Notes. I use it as my like, cleaning schedule. Some random notes. These notes pages are from Pen Paper and Plans. Again, excuse my voice. And a lot of this hasn't changed. And that ends the notes section. Let's go to the dates. I'm loving sunflowers at the moment, and I'm probably going to keep with the sunflower theme for the month of June, um, but this is from Pen Paper and Plans, yearly overview from Paper Tests, and then I just use my mood stickers that I showed you guys here to mark, like, mood of the month, holidays list from SM Plans, word of the year, reoccurring tasks list, this is, like, my important dates and future log. This is from Pen Paper and Plans, and then this is my main monthly. I haven't really been utilizing this a lot, to be honest with you. I really, um, in all honesty, like, kind of went into a weird little funk in my planner at the beginning of the month. So, my monthlies are from Latua Notes, by the way. 
And then I have this May cover page from Sterling Inc. This picture of my hubby and I just thought it was cute. It looks so dramatic. Um, this is something that I made a long time ago. It's my time management matrix. And that moves into my weeklies. So this month I used the Paper Test L collab, L Plans collab insert. So they, these are my weeklies. Um, this was last week. And I have not planned for this week. Um, so there's just no point in all honesty at this point. And I was not tracking my steps or, you know, marking in here my steps. Whoopsie. So, and then this is from Pen, Paper, and Plans, as is this. Moving into my daily. So, I use the SM Plans Day on Two pages. I kind of use it as needed. Like, there was one day I just wrote out a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, May was a blur. Is busy. And in a lot of ways, I was just trying to keep my head above water. So, and then we, like, my two daughters and I ended up with a cold the last of this past week. So, and then this was my list from the weekend. that I, did, I mean, I was referencing it, but I wasn't really checking stuff off. So, yeah. I knew all the stuff I was, like, I was looking at this and... I don't know why I didn't check them off. And then these are dailies from Latua Notes. Now that it's going to be summer, I'll probably go to a day on my page if I even use a daily. So that's the end of my dates. Now let's go to the money. So money is the same, so I'm not going to get into it. I just kind of wanted to show you guys this dashboard from uh, MK Plans and Designs or Marty Plans. So I just keep the same stuff, checkbook, register, like spending categories, Debt trackers, financial notes, that type of stuff in my money section. So then goals. Um, this was a freebie from Planning Professor. Uh, I tried to size it down, but it's it, it was still too big. But I like I like the way it looked. So transparency moment here is I haven't updated like my goals section, like my goals dashboard, or I didn't even put in a monthly plan for May. I think I just kind of like went on a break, <laughs> you know. That is, um, this vellum is from the planner spot. And then I have this uh, Foxy Fix Dash with this picture. I had some graduation and family photos done. And I just, I felt like a badass in that picture. And then this is one of my favorite pictures of my girls. I have this fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. And that's for like monthly reflections. This Smart Goals dashboard is from Bite Size Plans. It was a freebie. And then I have like just journaling cards and die cuts. Oh, and look at these little clips. They're so cute. That These are from Pen, Paper, and Plans. Um, so, yep. Uh, this vellum was the printable from MK Plans and Designs. And um, I made this dashboard in Canva. I just thought it was pretty. This is that um, Peanuts Planner Co. fold out where I track my cycle like PTO days, that type of stuff. Health log is from SM Plans. This is another dashboard from MK Plans and Designs. I just love it. My glow up tracker, oh my gosh, don't get me started on it, y'all. Uh, let me pull it out so you guys can see like how I did not do one dang workout in May, nor did I weigh myself. So I don't even know where I'm at right now, but that's fine. <laughs> Um, this dashboard is so pretty. It's from Pen Paper and Plans. My workout log hasn't been updated because I haven't done a workout. Um, and then I kind of changed up my trackers. So I did, I, I'm, I'm trying to like simplify things. Um, so, okay. The back of it is part of this like bundle from Hey Planner Girl. I just printed, like it's like letter, a letter size page that I printed on the back. And then I'm using this SM Plans fold out tracker. And so basically what I did was I like simplified like what I was tracking and then I also combined like my energy, mood, and sleep onto the same tracker. Um, so that way I wasn't like updating two trackers, just the one. And I'm, th I'm thinking that's going to work. So that ends my goal section. Then content section, I've got the planner hashtags from my minimal planner. I just made this dashboard in Canva. Um, I've got like this little sticky note dashboard. And these are like printable sticky notes from Latua Notes. 
um, where I just kind of like write out some ideas. I was doing a series on uh, my Instagram where I was like uh, doing like reels of like each individual section in my planner. So that's in progress. That was like my Q&A that I just uploaded. Um, and then here's another change I made. Um, so pen, paper, and plans here. And then these are, I'm gonna use these. This is from Matt L. Plans uh, Paper Test Designs collab. And I'm gonna use these for PR tracking. Um, that way I'm not like every month having to print out a calendar. I can just have it all in here and it doesn't take up much space. And then here I have this from Latua Notes, which is where I'm just writing out my, um, my YouTube uploads. And then this is from Aloe's Creative Corner. Excuse me. The voice is about to go. All right. And then just some Tamoy River paper. And that ends content. So family section, I've got this beautiful dashboard again from MK Plans and Designs. Um, this was a freebie from uh, Jessica Everett, a planning professor. Here's picture so featuring me. Another family photo, so cute. And then this is my fold-out tracker for my kids. I need to update it because Sophie missed school last week, too, um, where I just kind of, like, note on here, like, when they miss school, if they check out, like, you know, all that fun stuff. I just like to kind of have it, you know, on a, I guess, a yearly view. And then I have, like, health logs for the fam, more to my river paper, and that ends the family section, my confidential stuff. Um, I have this journaling card from Cloth and Paper, a uh, sticker book, and then several notes from Sophie that I like to keep as a reminder. So, anyway, oh, I'm proud of myself. That was a super quick flip. So, yeah, so anyway, that that's like how I've got my planner set up for May. Um, I've used it just as simply as I possibly could. Um, now, I'm going to say that I probably will not have time to link everything down below. I'm actually, today's Monday and I'm actually having surgery tomorrow. So, um, I just, I want to schedule this for upload on Thursday. So, yeah. Anyway, next month I will be in a different cover. I will share that with you guys in June. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, comment those down below. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I hope you have a fabulous day.